Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this tutorial, we are going to dis discuss about how do you perform an API testing and what are the things that you need to take care about while doing the API testing. This is one of the important questions that to be asked, and one of the questions that most of the time in comes in, in API testing interviews. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys. So let's move on to my mind map. Uh, basically, I have created a certain mind map. If you are able to see, let me know in the comments, and. Uh, so let's start with a basic introduction about what exactly is an API. I'm just giving you, uh, gonna give you a very uh, rough overview. It's a very uh, probably in the seconds. So API testing means that uh, we need to test the API that are created by developers and which are going to consume by certain kind of GUI or you can say a presentation layer. All right. So uh, APIs are are everywhere right uh, right now the app that you are using for example instagram facebook twitter everywhere everywhere we are using apis and there are like millions of millions of requests right now going through apis and we need to test api right and industry needs api testers because uh and they need solid api testers because we cannot go live without validating the api that are created by developers right i hope that makes sense so now let's uh, go to the reason number one it means how do you perform api testing and what are the validation? What are the things that you need to take care of while doing the API testing, right? The first important thing that comes to mind is that validation of API response code, or you can say the status code, right? Uh, so as you know, uh, if we are think about only the uh, REST API is mainly, so we have a certain HTTP method that we need to check. For example, get, post, put, patch, and there are other many more. And we have certain status code which are basically if falls under. If there are uh, any kind of status code falls under 100 series, 200 series, it will be on informational success, redirection, client servers, and so ser client or server. So these kind of things that we need to validate. For example, if uh, your your API is created, generally the API is created falls under the category of CRUD, which basically means create, uh, read, update, and delete. So now what you need to do is that you need to validate the APIs, uh, the basically the key value pairs. If it is in JSON, it or sometimes they are in XML, right? So you need to validate means particular uh, API is responding to a particular HTTP status code. For example, if you are passing certain invalid values, how the response code is handled, you need to validate that, right? So proper handling of in. Now the second point comes is proper handling of invalid or a validate code. For example, there is a login API which basically give uh, use or uh, uses username and password. So what if I am passing a null value? What if I am passing an invalid value? What what if I am passing certain long string value? So all the things. All the invalid and valued inputs we need to take care and we need to check that especially while doing the API testing and we need to check for sanitization so that is that is like the third point we need to check for the uh, sanitization of these fields like email validation is there from API side also for example if uh, if the user is putting some API or uh, if putting some email address in some GUI that is going to use uh, any kind of API and we should have certain kind of e email validation from API side also right that i hope that makes sense so that 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 are like three important things one uh, another important thing is that uh, validation of api with respect to modification and updates for example there's a api which is related to students uh, uh, record now if i am updating the record using put patch or any kind of request i need to check that what uh, the particular requests are getting updated and the particular fields are getting updated respectively and you need to do it by using a certain kind of tool. You can use Postman, SOAP UI, Karate, or any kind of tool that you can use for automating as well as uh, to check it out, right? And another interesting point that we need to check is that how APIs are handling your error codes. For example, if certain people are using your APIs and they are getting certain results, we need to check that uh, if I'm uh, basically creating a student record I'm getting a particular success message means the any kind of 201 basically created in the API response I'm not getting any kind of error if I'm getting error then UI should uh, you the API should give a proper response about and but proper message that uh, we are not able to create student because of this any kind of thing so we need to handle the error codes properly while doing the API test right and uh, this is an interesting thing that uh, I would like to increase more about it that integration testing up with the GUI. For example, uh, if you have created any kind of API, right, and that API is going to get integrated with any kind of GUI or presentation layer. 
what you need to do is that while doing the integration you need to make sure that the apis the key value pairs specially used by gui rare are to the exact and this is uh, generally not comes under the api testing part but we need to do integration testing if we have the full project right and we need to make sure that whatever the error codes as well as uh, the fields that we are using in apis or are basically mapped with the gui right this is this comes uh, under mostly in the functional test cases but yeah we need to make sure about it right another in interesting point where the most of the test most of the time the software testers who are doing api testing uh, fails to understand with the security testing guys uh, i'm going to give you uh, i'm going to basically uh, create one video about it how to do proper api security test because security test is important guys right now most of the bugs the functional bugs and the most of the uh, you can say uh, uh, high priority works are coming in api security especially to security for example there are two students where one we are able to update the record of second user using the same api request or authentication token so this is like compromising or you can say certain kind of indirect object uh, idor at idor attacks right so we need to make sure that the api security testing that you are doing you include this security testing in your test cases if possible while doing your uh, validations for example you can use any kind of uh, payload which basically gives us certain errors and we need to make sure that the api is handle those requests basically the developer has created in a such a way that if any kind of malformed uh, input is coming in username and or email any kind of thing then proper validations are there and proper kind of uh, the proper uh, results will be sent or error message will be sent that this is not a valid input or this is uh, not a valid email address so we need to make sure that api testing while you are doing especially for the security part you need to uh, have keep in mind right so last part i would like to tell you about it is that uh, api testing is different from ui or you can say functional gui tested and in ui we are uh, mainly focuses on ui testing means how ui are performing whereas in apis we don't have to focus on ui we have to just make sure that whatever the endpoints that are given to us are working properly and handle properly whenever we are giving some invalid values right uh, what you can do is that uh, you can in introduce certain json schema validation or xml schema validation i have created an intense or you can say uh, in depth video around it to do, do check it out and you can uh, use certain validations or invalidations and uh, certain test cases that uh, you can use while creating while performing an api test and uh, do check out my other videos where i have discussed how to write proper test cases for api test all right and in this uh, especially in the api testing we are going to mostly test the certain endpoints and methods or you can say core business logic which is exactly going on for example uh, the api returns 2 plus 2 is 4 so we are sending certain other uh, inputs to check it out if the business core logic is working or not all right so that's what we do and that's what uh, how we perform the api test we need how we perform it basically by using this uh, you can say we keep in mind these kind of points while doing performing the api test especially all right and if you want to learn more about how to write proper api test cases and then you need to watch my other tutorial where i have discussed in in depth all right and i hope you have find a uh, certain information from this video and uh, let do let me know in the comment uh, if uh, if you have any kind of question and guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe and it basically motivates me to create these kind of videos which gives you immense it definitely going to give you immense value all right thanks a lot and have a nice day bye and guys don't please 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 share and subscribe and don't forget to comment all right see you in the next video this is promote bye